So what is the best time of day to exercise as a type 2 diabetic or a pre-diabetic? Well, in this video, we're going to get into it. Stay tuned. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett, and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition. And if I can do it, then you can do it too, and I want to help you do that. So what is the best time to exercise as a type 2 diabetic or a pre-diabetic? To be able to answer that question properly, First, you need to understand how your body was used to work and how your body works now. So how did your body used to work? Well, every time you ate food, that food would get turned into energy. And that energy is glucose. That glucose then would go through your system and there would be millions and millions of cells in your body that would absorb that energy first. Now those cells, they can't do it by itself. So your pancreas produces a hormone called insulin. And when that insulin attaches itself to the cells, the cells can absorb the energy. Then what happens, once the cells are full, that the excess energy gets stored in your liver, it gets stored in your muscles, a little bit, and then it gets stored in your fat cells. Now, the great thing about our body is it can produce as many fat cells as it needs. What is really important is to understand why the body works that way. The reason the body works that way is because we are used to living in a feast and famine society. I know right now, in your lifetime, you've lived in a feast society, but our body long term has not had that. What used to happen is when food was plentiful, in the, in, the, in the summer and the autumn, the body would store that excess energy it needed as fat cells. When it came then to the winter and the spring, where food wasn't as readily available, it would store the energy, it, it would take the energy from your fat cells to keep you going back until the summer. So imagine this a bit like a bear, okay? A bear, it wakes out of hibernation, goes, eats as much fish or whatever it can find to eat, stores it all up, and then in the winter, it goes into hibernation and it uses all that fat in its body to keep it going. It's exactly the same way. So that's how our bodies are meant to work. Now, how is your body working right now? Well, your body right now is you're consuming food, it's turning it into energy, glucose, and then when that energy tries to get into our cells, the pancreas produces the insulin to tell the cells to absorb the energy and our cells ignore that insulin so it doesn't absorb the energy. This is what we call insulin resistance. And we all have different levels of insulin resistance. Then, so what happens is, because that energy can't be stored in our cells, it goes to our liver, it goes to our muscles, and then it gets stored in the fat. But as a result, more of it gets stored in the fat. And then, of course, this can cause additional problems in that we can start getting respiratory problems, heart problems, problems with our vision. Our immune system can't get to the body, to the body parts which are not in good nick as quick as it could because of the fat cells and the result we heal slower than normal. When we exercise, what happens is that we start to burn the energy in the cells and then we burn the energy in the liver, we burn the energy in our muscles and then it starts to burn the energy in our fat cells. So this is also good because this forces the cells then to start wanting to absorb more energy from the food that you're consuming. So now that we know this, we can decide what is the best time for you to exercise. And so the best time for you to exercise is when you've had a period of fasting. Because we're like, and, and a good example of this is when you go to sleep. 
Because when you go to sleep, what happens is your body continues to burn calories from the energy you put in, in the day. And wake, when you wake up, the cells then are reasonably empty of energy. So if you go and exercise before you eat your breakfast, what happens is instead of go taking the energy from the cells first, then the liver, then the muscles, and then the fat cells, because the cells are already exhausted of its energy, it takes goes straight to the liver, straight to the muscles, and burns more of the fat. As a result, you can get rid of that fat a lot quicker by exercising before you break your fast first thing in the morning or 12 o'clock if you're doing fasting and that's your time zones, you know. So the fasting and there's another topic and I promise you I will do a video on fasting at some point. So that is the best time to exercise as a type 2 diabetic once you've gone through a long fasting period and just before you break your fast. Now, if you want to join a community of people like yourself, all looking to charge down and reverse their type 2 diabetes, come and join us on our Facebook group, Charging Down Type 2 Diabetes. Answer the questions, I'll let you in, I look forward to having a further conversation with you there. Now, I'm going to stick another video there about why type 2 diabetics should exercise, and then I'm going to put another video here about the best exercises you can do as a type 2 diabetic and I'm going to put a button there for you to subscribe. Remember, you're no longer a number, you're a rhino. Now charge!